Exclusive access was given to me so that I could show you guys new dome. Doesn't it look beautiful? I haven't touched the video quality in any sort in terms of contrast or color correction in any way. Everything that you're seeing is completely raw from the game itself. And I should also mention I have everything on max graphics so you can see for yourself the changes that have been implemented. Now if you've been around for a while you already know that Dome has been redone once in terms of lighting. I previously thought that that update looked really good and exposed some features of the map that you otherwise wouldn't see, but in this update coming, as you can tell, the colors don't look as washed, the contrast looks much better, the shadows seem to stand out, but also blend in in a perfect combination. And well, don't take my word for it, see it for yourself. If you haven't noticed already, there's also been some extra mossy textures added to the map to make it seem a little bit more overgrown, like it's been abandoned for a while. Additionally to that, there's also some new grass coming through the floorboards to add on top of that. Personally, I think everything comes together and looks quite nice. Shadows seem to be where they're supposed to be now, in more of the underground area, it gets a little bit darker, as well as some spots have even been brightened up to improve gameplay. So if you've previously been versing proxies sitting in a dark corner with their mine ready, that shouldn't be too much of an issue anymore. You should be able to pinpoint where they are pretty fast, because they'll be standing out. I do apologize for the free cam footage in this. There's no locked camera feature that I know about, so I can set a correct path for the camera itself. So I had to do everything by freehand. So the side-by-side -side comparisons might not be pinpoint accurate, but I did my very best. Now I've only shown you the first half of the map. I will have the second half coming up shortly with a side-by-side -side comparison. So once again, you can see the differences. Now, if you're in the same boat I am, I previously didn't know too much about Dome. As for me, it was never really played as much as the other maps, and I'm not sure why that is. So hopefully after the update, we'll see it being chosen a little bit more often. Now, like I said before, I do have some more free cam footage coming up, and if you pay closely attention at the very first clip, at the beginning, there was an unnecessary pole that was getting in the way of you doing a wall jump before. That has now been removed, so that will no longer be impeding on your wall jump. Now, I'm sure you just don't want to see free cam footage all the time, so after the free cam footage, I also have some live footage from in-game, so you guys can see how the map plays out. Now this is just a forewarning, I didn't turn the hit beeps off, I completely forgot. I know it's a hit or miss for some people, some people enjoy it, others don't. I personally, I don't mind them, but I don't require them on. So again, I apologize, I know some people it might drive nuts, and others might like it. Now I'd like to say a quick thanks 
to everyone that was in the PTS, the private test server. Obviously, I wouldn't be able to get this footage without you guys, and you guys have some crazy accuracy. I thought my accuracy was pretty good, but I was beaten quite a few times in 1v1 fights. And I'm sure most of you guys weren't even trying that hard. And not to mention the medics on my team, I would probably look like a complete noob if you guys weren't resing me all the time. So big thanks, and I had a lot of fun with you guys. Now in this update to come, you may or may not hear it, but some of the guns were actually updated with their sounds, so now some of them don't sound the exact same as others, which is really cool, and some sound absolutely amazing. This may not be something that you think about as a major change, but this may actually change your playstyle on whether or not you're going to engage this person at medium range or long range or if you're gonna engage them at all, depending on the gun that they're using. I know for myself, it's gonna take a while to get used to the new sounds, which is also another reason why I don't like hit beeps being turned on. Cause then you can't really tell what kind of gun you're versing. As I was mentioning before, I'm the type of person that didn't know dome to a T, which is one of the reasons why before I even hopped on the private test server, I went back to the original and I went through dome, running through it a few times just by myself to remind myself and learn everything about it, which is something you may wanna do before the update actually comes out to remind yourself how it looks so you can see the changes for yourself. I know I've already shown you most of the map in a side-by-side -side comparison, but it's nothing quite like experiencing it for yourself. Even though most of the layout of the map has been kept to the original, and it's mostly just cosmetic looks in terms of lighting and shadows and the contrast, with some new textures and all that added in, I think visually the map is a lot more appealing now, and like I said before, hopefully we'll see it chosen a lot more often. Once again, although I've shown you most of the map, there's probably a few changes that I have missed, and that's by accident, I did my very best. It is quite a big map compared to some of the others, so definitely be sure to check it out for yourself when it finally goes live. One change that you may or may not have seen that is very cosmetic is this pillar right here. The first delivery point, there's more tubes and wires going up and down and around it. Maybe not a huge change, but it's definitely worth noticing. I'm extremely curious to hear everyone's thoughts. Let me know what you think down in the comments below. Do you think the new and improved dome looks a lot better after the second overhaul to it, or maybe you don't like it? Either way, let me know, I'm curious. I should also mention that this is not the only map that's been done. In fact, all of the maps have been redone with similar changes. And with that being said, I gotta give a huge thanks to the art team. Everything looks very beautiful, new and improved. Hopefully everyone else likes it as well. And be sure to keep your eye out for the showcases on the other maps from other content creators, as I'm only showing you New Dome. I'd like to thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'll leave you guys with the rest of the live footage, and I will catch you guys in the next one.